Greetings and salutations, movers and shakers. Today I have a combo video for you using the new support card for Crystal Beast, Golden Rule. What is great about this card is that it opens so many doors and gets you so many more Crystal Beasts on the field, in your graveyard, so you can just go for that Rainbow Dragon endgame. So, you're gonna need Golden Rule, of course, Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle, and Rainbow Bridge of the Heart. If you open with these three cards, you pretty much won the duel. Um, so let's get right into it. So first, what we're gonna do is activate Rainbow Bridge of the Heart. Now, Rainbow Bridge of the Heart has three effects. Uh, the first effect is that you get an extra normal summon of a Crystal Beast monster in addition to your normal summoner set. Already cool. Second effect is that if you destroy a Crystal Beast card, um, you get to add a Crystal Beast Speller Trap from your deck to your hand. Um, that's also super broken. And then the final effect, which is amazing, is that when a Crystal Beast card is placed in your Spell and Trap card zone, even during a damage step, um, you get to target one card your opponent controls, return that to the hand, and return this back to the hand. And that happens on either player's turn. It does not matter when it happens. Just as long as something touches this back row, that effect will trigger. Um, next, you will activate Golden Rule. Here's what's broken about Golden Rule and why it works really well with Ruby Carbuncle. Golden Rule, your first, the first thing you're going to do is place two in your back row. Your two Crystal Beasts. Always, always, always. Sapphire Pegasus. Sapphire Pegasus. Sapphire Pegasus is not once per turn and neither is Ruby Carbuncle. So, um, now the next part of Golden Rule is you special. Now, once that resolves, Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle effects act, uh, effect activates. Now you get one, two. Once that resolves, now you have Chain Link one, Chain Link two. Again, their effects are not once per turn. So, you get to your back row. You, of course, should always, always, always be ready to have this one ready to go. Um, and then you can also put back here Cobalt Eagle. I just like to put them back there. Um, cute little level four you just get rid of. <laughs> uh, all right. And then next, after that, you are going to banish your Crystal Beast uh, Rainbow Dragon. And what that lets you do is that allows you to special summon a Crystal Beast monster, but you negate its effects. And then you get to also add a Rainbow Dragon to your hand. So we're gonna do Am Amethyst Cat, and we're gonna add Rainbow Dragon to our hand, obviously. Now the next best part is that you are going to use these two. Now Golden Rule goes to the graveyard when the monster is equipped to goes to the graveyard. And you're gonna go into Ebon Angel. Ebon Angel effect to send a level three to the grave. And then the Ebon Angel, I think, gives itself the attack. Um, searching, searching, searching for my other level three. Emerald Tortoise to the graveyard. Now the next best part, what we're going to do is we are going to overlay to go into number 60. Now... Before we do his effect, we're gonna use Rainbow Bridge of the Hearts effect. We're going to pop Crystal Beast Cobalt Eagle. Now we get to add a Crystal Beast card to our hand. And of course you go for Crystal Bond. Now we activate Crystal Bond. You add one from your deck to your hand. That's the first part. And from our deck to our hand, we are going to choose Amber Mammoth. And then into back row, sorry, we're not putting Amber Mammoth in our hand. We're putting Sapphire Pegasus in our hand. And then into back row, we're putting Ruby Carbuncle. Now, we get to detach two. Here's what I love about number 60. You detach two and you can target to bring back the things that you detach. So here you go. Sapphire Pegasus is back. Guess what? You get another back row. And remember, this is all done off of three cards. This is a three card combo that you're doing all of this with. Now you have your Amethyst, your Amber Mammoth. Now remember, 
we still have to do our normal summons. So Rainbow Bridge of the Heart gives us that extra normal summon of a Crystal Beast monster, Sapphire Pegasus. And here comes our boy, Topaz Tiger. Now here's where it really gets good. Here's where like you can have a blast. So you got your dope ass tiger. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven crystal beast monsters. Rainbow dragon. Now you tribute rainbow dragon, rainbow over dragon. Now you can go a step ahead of that and you can do link two, three, four, Boom, Appalooza. So now this is your end board. That's off of three cards. Three cards got you Appalooza, Rainbow Over Dragon, a Sapphire Pegasus. You have three in your back, three Crystal Beasts in your back row. You have Rainbow Bridge of the Heart that if something else touches this back row, so if your opponent wants to be cute and destroy this and you put it in your back row, you can return this and something else to the hand. You have your monster negates. Like... And you have a four thousand, you have a four k fail safe beats stick. That things start to really go wrong, you can just tribute, boom, shuffle all that back, and like your graveyard is stacked of crystal beast monsters um, for you to recycle using Sapphire Pegasus effect to um, place them back here. So this is what I mean by this deck is really really good. Um, even with interruption, you can still pull this off and um, you can just go into, so, you can do so much control. It's still a control deck. Um, if you draw, I run um, Foolish Burial Goods. So um, if I had Foolish Burial Goods, I, if I had Foolish Burial Goods, I would have sent uh, Rainbow Bridge Salvation. I would have got a Crystal Beast to hand and I would have got Necro Valley. So on top of your negates, like your opponent might as well scoop. Like if this is your if this is your your end board, like like this may be enough to make your opponent be like, all right, game two. Um, but if you have Necro Valley and your opponent is still playing, they either have like a really really good deck, or they're trying to stall for time because I don't think there's really much you can do because so many decks rely on their graveyard, and even if they do. Dark Ruler no more, make her attack zero. Like, that's fine. Like, cool, we can live with that. You still have a 4K beat stick. They still can't touch their graveyard. Um, and your life points are pretty much safe. You're still going to be at 8K life points. Um, but this is this is the power of Crystal Beast. Remember, that was off of three cards. Three card combo. Um, I don't know, y'all. Crystal Beast might uh, be making a comeback. Um, they can play around Cash Tira. Um, I've beaten many cast tier players with this. <laughs> um, you typically want to do all of this before Arise Heart hits the board and starts banishing your monsters. Um, but I also run Dark Ruler No More in case of, uh, if hopefully I top deck that and I'm able to get rid of Arise Heart before then. Um, when Arise Heart is on the board or anything that banishes is on the board, you kind of want to be a little bit more careful with how you play. Um, but Crystal Beast can typically do this um, control the board, um, dodge, like, things that are going to banish from the graveyard, uh, they can they keep themselves on the board. If my opponent has a Rise Heart on board, I probably wouldn't even go full this. I would just go to Baguska and pass and stall until I'm able to get a Rise Heart off board or negate a Rise Heart, um, in any way, shape, or form that I can think of. But, yes, this is the Crystal Beast board, um, that you can get off of a three-card combo, and then the two extra cards, who knows what those two extra cards could have been. It could have been Foolish Burial Goods. I could have drew the one of Necro Valley. Um, it could have been an Ash Blossom. It could have been so, it could have been Crystal Miracle, the like one of the best trap cards I've ever seen in my life. There's so many possibilities of what those other two cards could have been. Um, hell, it could have been like another Rainbow Dragon and you could still boom two 4k beat sticks you know like uh this deck is really really good i'm excited that crystal beasts are back and they are 
going to be kicking ass. I'm definitely going to be using them um, in the upcoming formats. Um, uh, and I've just been having a lot of fun with this. And I've been coming in first or second place at my locals. So yes, uh, this is the Crystal Beast Deck 3 card combo video. Hope you enjoyed. Any questions, you can leave them in the comments.